Welcome, welcome back if you've been here before. My name's Lee and I make art and videos about art. So this video is about the fifth painting in my series, my first ever art series um, of a body of work that I'm making with a consistent theme, which is, uh, which allows for sub themes and, and collections and I'm super excited about it. And this is about the fifth one, which is the painting behind me. And I made the first video last week, which is um, about the first four paintings in the series, which uh, are their own collection. And I'll link that in the description below. Um, and again, the synopsis for this series, so the description of what the series is based on will be in the description as well. So if you want to read that, um, check that out. And for this video, you won't see much of me today. Um, the whole time lapse fits the whole screen, so um, I'll bring that up in a moment and then we can get started and then I'll just kind of narrate over it and talk about the concept for the piece and why it looks the way it does, why there's a kind of a smiling skull at you. And yeah, so I'll, I'll bring up the video and we'll get started. So, like I said, this is a standalone piece and the piece is called Not a Nihilist. Now, the concept is based off of a, uh, a body of thought in philosophy called nihilism. And as far as I understand, there are two, maybe even three definitions or areas in which nihilism can be approached. I'm not sure, but the, the nihilism I'm referring to and that I'm going to use as a definition here for this piece is uh, the idea of a lack of purpose or meaning. Um, from the external, from outside of yourself. And I think the idea that nothing matters is now not what I'm averse to. I think it's the fact that that single thought stopped me from enjoying anything. That when I thought that nothing, there was no purpose or that nothing mattered, that I wasn't able to, uh, to have fun. But I think now I, I have this, this, what I think is a moderately healthy outlook on the perspective, like that I still hold that there is no purpose, there is no point to anything that if we were to, when we all pass, when our sun swallows up the earth in a, in a few billion years, that's okay that this course of action happens. And I quickly came to the conclusion that it's not necessary for something to continue for a person to enjoy it. That the idea of living eternally, I don't know, may only be as appealing as it is because of the fear of death. So if you don't fear things ending, does being around forever stay as an option? Or at least does it stay appealing? And I realized for me it doesn't. And I think what remains appealing to me is really enjoying every moment I have now. And it, and it really had this, this flip effect, this, this opposite effect on me that just because there's no, there's no purpose, it, for me it kind of has this thing of, well, I really only get one chance at this. I really only get to enjoy the people that I love once and, the, and the, the, the things I love doing once, the art I love making once. And it, it really set in me to, to, to do this because I, I thought of it like, um, like a story and I, and I love stories. And I think a crucial part to them is that they end, you know, as all things do, good and bad. And I think accepting this allowed me to enjoy the things more when I'm in them, knowing at some point it's going to end and being okay with that. And that's what this piece was or, or is for for me. And I was able to execute some of these details in that. Like for, I mean, for example, I'll grab the piece now. Uh, you can see it this side. I think the light's a bit bright, maybe this side. Yeah, it's probably best. Hopefully I'm still in focus, but we don't know. So a few of the details I was able to put in. Um, the first one is the, the smiling effect, this, this idea. So I, I removed a lot of the detail from the, the mandible, the, the, the jaw of the skull. Um, the reference I had was quite dark here, so it's very fairly easy for me to kind of envision this. Um, obviously with the, the light background coming through, you see the, the gaps in the, in the jaw here, um, and it allows for, for this, uh, this effect that this, this skull is smiling, you know? And I, I quite like the idea of this, this juxtaposition of the thing that we associate with the end being this this smiling, happy, content thing, you know, like this uh, this quite satisfied, um, I guess, subject or, or face, you know, that for me says whoever this was, they were very happy with the time that they spent with the people that they were with and doing the things that they did, you know. So I'll put this back. Um, so overall, uh, a, a nice piece that I'm. Um, super happy with it's this 
looks cool, it looks really nice, the, the pastel tones are gorgeous on there, I'm really happy with it and I'm just, I'm so happy with how this, this series is going so far. And again, thanks for watching. If you want to see more of my work, check out my website and socials um, and I'll see you on the next one.